Okay, hi, this is Gail Mitchell, Executive Director of R&B and Hip Hop for Billboard Magazine, and I'm jazzed today to be chatting with Cheryl Salt James and Sandra Peppa Ditton, as well as Gigi Townsend and Layla Odom, who are the, the latter two are the stars of the upcoming Salt and Peppa uh, biopic on Lifetime, January 23rd, uh, the life story of uh, Salt and Peppa and uh, two women who who broke some barriers musically, female empowerment wise, the whole shot, I have to tell you when I, the scene that really struck me in the biopic that really hit me being a single mom bringing up two kids was when you guys were in the studio with a baby in each arm, your babies in each of your arms and you're recording and just doing the thing, multitasking, which is what powerful women do. So glad that you all are here and I know uh, we'll get right to it here, but I'll start with Salt. What was it that made you decide to green light a biopic? Because it's, you know, folks are in your business, folks are, you know, you're sharing things that, you know, to the public. So, so what made you decide to go ahead and green light this? Um, well, this is something we had been talking about, uh, Pep and I, for years, actually, and pursuing. There was a lot of different offers that came and went um, over the years. And so at, it came to a point where Pep was like, girl, we got to do our movie before somebody else does it. Like, we just got to make a decision, you know. And then Shaquem actually had a relationship and Latifa with Lifetime who had already come to the table and wanted to do it for a very long time. But when all the entities came together and was just like, you know, this is the time. So I just like, let's just do it. For me, it was, it was um, a hard decision. It was, I had a lot of anxiety wrapped around it because it's a vulnerable place to put yourself in. Uh, but I just, you know, I said, let's just go. Let's just get it over with. Basically, for me, it's like, let's just do it and get it off the tables. But I'm excited about it. I think it came out really awesome. So, yeah, I, we're blessed. And, and Peppa, for you, what was it like reliving your past? What, what was the toughest scene in the biopic for you to, to, uh, to watch and, and share? Uh, I think I am an open book, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> like, you know, I'm an extrovert, and, you know, a lot of my business have been out there, but, you know, for me, it is the, the scene with, when Layla, like, when she was faced with the, the, that, those trying moments when, you know, Salt decided to, to, to leave and the time with, you know, Tretch and when, you know, that moment of when she was cutting herself. Um, I remember because for me as a childhood, it, it, it goes, it stems, it, it opened up to remember why I, I, I'm where I was when I'm faced with those, try, those times in my life, like those big times, like with, you know, those times and when my, like my father died and, and when Salt decided to leave, those are like, ah, and I know from a childhood, I identified pain with that. And that those moments were painful. And so I was like, shit. And it was bringing up all the painful moment. What made me even do that? Exactly. A cutting. Right. So Layla and Gigi, I'm, I'm uh, curious too about your process. How did you channel these two iconic women? Just what were the processes you, you each went through to uh, channel and, and portray uh, salt and pepper. Um, so uh, the, the process that, you know, Layla sure can attest to, uh, the work started before, you know, we even got the role, you know, going in to audition to prepare ourselves the best way possible to even, you know, be a contestant to, you know, the final girls that were down to who was going to portray these iconic characters. So, you know, that got down to you know, research of old archived interviews and music videos and watching performances, because even through the audition process, we had to perform too. So it's like, you know, getting the mannerisms down. And for me specifically, like the way that Cheryl would play to the camera a lot of the times um, for performances and things like that. And um, after actually booking the role, just being able to have, you know, open and honest, candid conversations with Cheryl 
going through the script, breaking down literally, you know, line reads with Cheryl of the script. Like, you know, I wouldn't say this, say that. Um, and just being able to be completely immersed in her life and her opening her arms and her heart and, you know, just welcoming me into her world, basically, you know, was, was how I prepare to, to, you know, become Cheryl. Okay. Go ahead. For me, it was, it's a little different because like I'm low key connected to Pep somehow because we act alike already. <laughs> so like for me, it was just like the energy was already there. And it's, and it's so crazy. When I look at Gigi, her and Salt have this mannerism that's very similar too. So it was like, it was perfect because it is polar opposites. But at the same time, I think the, the main factor is like, I know how to love my friend. I know how to love my mom. I know how, and just bringing love into it. I grew up on hip hop. Like I'm from the area, like that, that area of where they're from, it's like, it's a no brainer. Like I, like I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's how I felt going into it. Like I can do this. Um, I remember back, like I wasn't even living in LA. I was an extra in a movie called paid in full. And one of the characters said, don't you see these BBS rims? And I remembered it. And I said it in the audition and Pep was like, I heard her say that. And I, I just think that I was already in tune with like where she was back then. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a, a certain era, a certain time. And because I have older sisters, like older cousins, I, I felt like it was easy for me to tap in. And then once I knew Gigi was playing it, it was like, we just gonna be friends and we just gonna like, let it just grow and do what it's gonna do. And it, and it did that. And like, e even though I'm not playing Salt, I still feel connected to her. I still feel connected to Mario. Like it was just an experience of all these amazing people that have such a wealth of, of knowledge and, and experience. So. It was easy to play pep tapped in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that for real. I'm like, she's just like me. <laughs> no, very seamless performances, really, very, very nice. So so Salt and, and Pepper, you also doubled as executive producers on the project. So how hands-on were you guys as executive producers? I think fans would like to know. We're talking script, cast, locales, that whole thing. So Salt, you can start and Peppa finish up. Um, everything had to be approved by us. Um, so we were involved every step of the way uh, from, from especially the script, you know, starting with the script. And um, yeah, we, we took it very personal and we felt like it was something that was important, you know, to be as immersed in as we possibly could without getting in the way, you know, as well. Because a part of this is relinquishing control to a producer, a director, to actors. And that's a very difficult, you know, position to be in um, because you don't want to, you know, get all up in everybody's space, you know, and interrupt the process. So for me being a recovering control freak, it was very hard for me, <laughs> you know, to pull back a lot. I, I pulled back a lot and just like, you know, kind of left this sometimes at crucial moments up to the people that were chosen to tell the story. Okay, Pepper? Um, it, um, to choose the, uh, um, sorry, because that was a lot <laughs> that um, um, Salt said about, uh, sorry, my train of thought. Say that part that you wanted me to finish, sorry. Say that again. Uh, just we'll pick up where, where uh, Salt left off about how hands-on, just what what the role of an executive producer. Oh, does. right. Because yeah. I think that was very important because this role <laughs> goes back so long because of the journey. And I knew that um, it was very easy for someone to tell your story out there and, and people to be like, oh, did you have any involvement, you know, for other people? And I know that I this story right here was it was like a baby, it was important and I and I and for it to be told right. And so it, for me to be hands-on because it was a male dominated field, because I didn't have a voice for a long time, not be able to make choices. And this one, I was able to make 
choice and bring on um, directors and producers and you know the you know the whole team involved with this. So it was very hands on down to like the you know Layla and Gigi and like she said they couldn't have been any but perfect for this role. Um, like oh my god, like they nailed it. <laughs> I just felt that. So down to that. Um, going out on, you know, when they were, when day one, when it starts to film, like being there, seeing my legacy in front of me, I wanted to make sure everything was, was right. The story was being told right. And, and I, and it was with the Abduls and the Mavios and the Bobs, you know, and Tanya, the whole lifetime and Sony, you know, everybody. Uh -huh. okay. It was, and I was hands-on all through that. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. All right, and speaking, you guys have brought up Mario. So uh, I'll start with with Gigi and, and and Layla. How, what was it that Mario brought to the table, nuance wise, in in terms of telling this story and helping walk you guys through the the, the process? Um. Well, for me, working with Mario was such an amazing experience. I definitely learned so much from Mario. Um, and one of the things that he he sat us down and, and talked about with us, me and Layla, was that he wanted to not only tell this story, but to show every side of it in its authenticity, you know, and, and not sugarcoat it and, and really give it to the people the way that it was, you know, like, this is how it is. We're not going to sugarcoat it. We're not going to, you know, sweep things under the rug. This is what happened. This is what it is. You know, this is the story and really keeping the authenticity of it, um, as well as adding, you know, um, such an amazing light on Black women and us as Black women and really, really highlighting that in the empowerment and and how they were not only, you know, the pioneers of hip hop, but they were business women and about their business, you know, so that was really important to Mario to, to bring that as well. But, you know, definitely he pushed us for sure. I definitely had moments on the verge of tears and if it wasn't for that one, <laughs> I, ooh, I'd have lost it a couple of days, but it, it was such an amazing experience. I could not have done this project without anyone but Layla. Like, yeah, we were, we were really, yeah. <laughs> That's high praise, all right. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, so Layla, yeah. What was it like with Mario, working with Mario for you? It was amazing. Um, the thing about this project, because like, seriously, like I really act a lot like Pep, like a lot. The stretch wasn't that, it was containing it. And the thing about it is, I, I think, even though Gigi didn't say that this, I'll say it for both of us, we have to bring respect and dignity to their legacy. We can't just be on like changing the story or it not being real or it being too much or, and I think that's where Mario came in of like certain days he needed to reel me back. Like, that's a lot, bring it back, okay. Cool, I understand that. For Gigi, it would be different. It would be different, like when you um, when you're fine tuning a machine to get it to work, it's at its best. You have to understand how to talk to this actor and that actor. You you have to understand that. And because he is Hollywood royalty, and then we have hip hop royalty, like we can't fail. There was no way for us to to fail. So I think that we were in good hands from from jump, like once they trusted us we're to pay them, we were good. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. so, so Peppa, when was the first time you saw the completed film? What was your, how did you, what was your immediate reaction after seeing it? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be, I was like the fan too, girl. Cause you know, it's funny cause there is, <laughs> It's gonna be because there is some rewrite. It is we're opposite. It out. It is our lives. We share a lot, but then there are things that we didn't share with each. You know, with each other. I didn't know or something. So, mm -hmm. yes, watching it for the first time, I was like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, and oh, I didn't know that. And wow, on that. 
And it was like really the truth and honesty for me on some things too, under, you know, understanding or I took away some things too, you know, or what, you know, but it was just like a fan is going to watch it for the first time. It was like that for me because I learned things I did not know in almost the 36 years, you know, and, and when it was the rewrites, of course, with the final cut, it was like seeing it um, because we always talked about it, but there was no social media. There wasn't anything to, sh to show or, or anything. But when this actually feelings get on papers and rewrites, like I said, this is a few years now in the making, it is learning some things. And it was just like, I needed my popcorn for that. I was like, <laughs> With all love too. And it was like, <laughs> I'm happy about it, you know. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. What was one thing, real quick, Pepper, that you learned that you didn't know watching it? <laughs> she said, What was one thing? Um, there was a like studio moment. Um, uh, there was a lot of things through, uh, like the, there was like, uh, the moments of with uh, with Herbie and uh, Cheryl, um, it was talked about, but just actually seeing things, um, a, lo a lot of times along with like the bulimia, those are things that, and she will say that I didn't know in, you know, going through that in the, our whole career that, that she was bulimic for me. And so learning things and seeing it, and actually I was like, you know, I didn't, so I was learning things. And, um, and then the fight, like some of the things that she was like, you know, the part was like, oh, I'm, I didn't, um, I'm going to not split, I'm going to split the money 50-50 uh, when Herbie uh, didn't want to, even though I always say he was the third, but, you know, so things learning um, all the way around the honesty. That's why I said this, that shaped this movie, the honesty of the movie too. In a lot of ways, of course, there's movie but there's a lot of it was very honest and as much as control and he <laughs> was there it was honest <laughs> and so your reaction the first time um my reaction the first time was um kind of i had to absorb you know i i can't just say like oh i saw it and it was like oh my god this is amazing this is great it's really awkward to see your life story compressed into two hours, 35 years, you know, because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, this happened around that time and that happened and, you know, this is missing and that piece is missing and there's so much more to the story than what we saw, you know, so the overarching, you know, scenario was about the friendship and I think that we really captured that, but mm -hmm. I would have to say, and I made up a word, it's called movieized. To see your life become movieized is something <laughs> that you have to kind of absorb. So when I first saw it, I was like, okay, okay. I just had thoughts. Cause you know, I'm like someone who does a lot of creative in the studio editing, you know, videos and music and master mixing and mastering. So that part of my brain just went crazy and then when I came back you know and thought about it and spoke to Mario and everyone explained to me it's like this is what we had to work with and this is what we came up with and then I watched it a few more times and I was like okay that was the goal the goal was to tell the story of a friendship the ups and downs of that friendship the successes of the the um the salt and pepper brand and to bring all unanswered questions to the table and also to inspire women that you know no matter what you go through like you said having babies literally in the studio my daughter was like on my hip through the whole very necessary album like herbie used to be like can you leave her home you know because she would pull on the mic you know and how women we just kept it moving, you know, you strap them babies on your back, you know, you do what you got to do because we all know we got to work harder than men to prove ourselves, to be respected, to be recognized. And that's what I eventually saw in the movie. And I think that was very valuable. Very very. Good. No. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pepper, you were going to say something? No, I just said that was very val valuable to... Uh, yeah. to show that like I can always say that but I just take it there to me um 
because those are moments, the tour bus, the, the, the having babies and, 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 you know, dealing with men <laughs> and trying to have a voice and, and, you know, trying to, and writing and producing and trying to, you know, be all that you can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's good to, 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 to show that strength and to, from the beginning of me trying to rap <laughs> with this, <laughs> cause I didn't know I was gonna do this. <laughs> Trust me. A lot about it was was the honesty. I because I learned that you know surfacely folks know who you guys are, but um, like you said, the uh, not knowing how to rap. You guys were both straight up in the movie. I don't know how to do that. And and then <laughs> you see the the evolution. It was it was it's it's you guys did all did a great job. I've got another question for uh, Gigi and Layla, and then a, a final question for all four of you. But Gigi and Layla doing a biopic like this, uh, portraying icons like this is, is one issue, but then you were also filming, I believe during a pandemic. So talk briefly about what that was like. Oh, well, actually we wrapped filming in December of 2019. Oh, so okay. thankfully the pandemic did not, uh, you know, Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Come into our set culture at all. So thank God for that. Yeah. Right. Um, and where was most of it filmed? Was it in, I'm sorry, in New York or, or in where? Toronto. Mm -hmm. in Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Right. So we left LA, which was like um, in October, which still somewhat mm -hmm. feels like summer, to yeah. get to Toronto, which felt like winter. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, that's, it's cold. I'm from a cold place, but it was cold. But oh. thank cold. But thank God we didn't have to deal with any of the like the restrictions of what it is to yeah. deal with shooting during COVID. So we didn't we didn't have any of that. Thank God, and we were blessed to have the girls on set. Like yes, you can't you can't beat that. And and like we say, I think we have individual um, interviews. We say that all the time. Of like, it's not like the film was done behind their back. Like they were there and they were hands on. So we're not gonna do anything that's not like, that they're not gonna see and be able to say, nah, that's not gonna work. I didn't do that or that didn't happen. So I think that that's a very important point to bring home of like the realness, the, the honesty. And I know it had to be tough for both of you to watch and relive certain parts of your life. That's not easy for anybody. So I, I we applaud you for, for yes. doing that. We applaud you for opening up your lives to us and, and no holes barred and just being honest. So we love you and, and thank you for, for letting us in. Thank you. So final question for each of you, it, it'll be two parts because I'll ask Salt and Pepper the same question. I'll start again with Gigi and Layla. What lesson did you learn from Salt and Pepper in, in filming their biopic, working with them, getting to know them? What lesson have you learned about being a black woman, woman and persevering in the entertainment world. Uh, for for me, working with Cheryl hands on, I, I definitely told her a few times, like you know, you're a better person than than me. And in the time, the the age range that we were were talking about, you know, but she would just she always handled everything with grace, and she stood in her integrity, and she was true to herself, and you know, as a black woman, that's really important as a woman in the industry, because there's, it's so easy to, to, you know, go off the rocker with following the trends or the sign of the times. So definitely, I took that away from, you know, this entire experience, just being an angel on earth, as Cheryl is, you know, Cheryl is, is amazing. Just, <laughs> yeah, I came home telling my mom how great she was, and they were actually able to you know, meet via Zoom. And that was that was an amazing moment for me for them to be able to connect. So, yeah. I told your mom how wonderful you are too. <laughs> um, for me, it's a, like, it's a little different because what I took away from the, the project is like as women and women of color, like Pep says it like I'm Jamaican, like there's certain things we have to be so good. We have to be so much better than everybody else. That's what I'm taking away from this of like, and when you really want something, you better go after it. You, you better be good because there's too many people that want it. Like 
I, I think that that's so important of being women and not being scared. And that's one thing that this character that I'm playing wasn't scared, wasn't scared to be like, I don't know how to rap, but I'm a lark mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get nice. So that's the thing. It's like, you got to think about that. Like at a time when they didn't have anybody to look to and say, well, let me rhyme like this. So let me, they didn't have that. It was on them. So I think that that's a, a big deal when we look in this culture of everybody wants to be famous and everybody wants to be on, they did the work. So that's like, that's what I'm taking with me in my life and in my next job and in my career period of like, you work hard. Like you, you, you do the things you don't want to do. I was in dance for her. So like, I'm an actor. I don't feel like dancing no more. And they were like, that's too bad. That's your business. <laughs> you got to get it. You got to do it. And I think that's what I'm taking away of like, you have to be so much better than than everybody, like, because they don't, they don't expect us to be good. They don't expect us to be business women and mothers and smart. Well, guess what? We are all of that and then some. So I think that it's important to, to, to talk about that and bring that to the, to the forefront. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And finally, uh, Salt and Pepper, what is the one takeaway you want viewers your, your legion of fans, your next generation of fans, new generation of fans to take away from the Salt and Pepper biopic. Salt and Pepper. Uh, inspiration, you know, like like Layla just very yeah. eloquently, you know, said, just being inspired to keep pushing it. Mm -hmm. And I believe it right there. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what it is. It's just to inspire to you know, keep pushing it. You no, know, you know, the obstacle, the 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 struggles. It's I just to acknowledge life has good energy, negative energy. It's taking the goods with the bad and understanding that and you know and staying focused and just understanding that. And and you know, your all your goals, dreams, and aspiration, you know, you go for it no matter what. That's all you can say. I went for it. I kept pushing it, like Saul said. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all very much, Salt Pepper, Gigi, Layla. I, I enjoyed this. I am going to be sitting there again on January 23rd. I've seen the screener, but I'm going to watch the movie again. I enjoyed it immensely. Enjoyed the chat we had just now. And thank you for the continued inspiration, all four of you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Love thank you. 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 Thank you.